The court was barely able to get Warren Jeffs to say anything after he chose to represent himself on Thursday morning. On Friday, the court could scarcely keep him quiet. About an hour into the morning proceedings Friday, Jeffs had said nothing and made no objections. It was the fifth day of his trial on charges of sexual assault of a child, but when the prosecution moved to admit a document listing the names of his spiritual wives and their ages, Jeffs shot up from his defense table and objected. Jeff said that that document and other evidence presented was sacred to the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the 10,000-member polygamy sanctioning group that he leads. You are now touching that which is sacred, Jeff said, standing alone at the defense table. It was the beginning of an impassioned speech that lasted nearly an hour. Jeff waved his hands as he repeatedly stressed his need for more time to prepare a defense, gave a slight history of the FLDS, said he was fifth-generation polygamist, and argued that the practice should be protected as freedom of religion. This must cease, Jeff said of the proceedings repeatedly. Near the end of the day's proceedings, 51st District Judge Barbara Walther had the bailiff turn off and move away Jeff's table microphones because of his frequent interruptions while Special Prosecutor Eric Nichols continued building his case. Walther warned Jeff that frequent outbursts would result in him losing his right to self-representation. However, she appeared poised to weather Jeff's repeated objections. The prosecution said they expect to be done resting their case in the guilt-innocent phase of the trial by Wednesday. At about 5 p.m., Judge Walther brought the court into recess until Monday at 9 a.m.